Hello, it's Keith from Kimvert, and I'm going to be showing you how to connect to your Sphero Rover with uh, your Sphero EDU app. Um, hopefully this is looking somewhat clear to you. Um, so first I'm going to find the power button on the Rover, hit that, and you should see the lights kind of cycle between blue and purple here. Um, and that means the robot's just kind of waiting to connect. And um, let's see, so we're going to say to connect to robot. Now first of all, make sure your Bluetooth is enabled. So for me I'm using a, um, you know, Android device and you can turn on your Bluetooth up here. Hopefully that is uh, visible, the settings here. Um, so the Bluetooth setting, make sure to turn that on. Now I'm just going to say to connect to robot here. Hopefully this is reasonably in focus for you. And now it's just looking for robots. If this takes too long, I'm going to edit and fast forward. And then I'll tell you approximately how many seconds it took. Okay, so that took about 15 seconds or something like that. So tap robot to connect. We're going to grab my robot. And oh, I was off by like one. It's RV minus COD4. If it was COD3, that would have been like code, you know, and all the, the new way people like to write stuff. So I just tapped on it. Sphero Rover connecting. So the lights just changed. Now they're blinking. There's also green. So that's a good sign. Okay, so it brought me to the next screen. And now what I'm going to do is click towards the bottom here. It looks like these code blocks. Now typically at Kinvert, we're going to be focusing on Python code. Um, but I have my son today. He's very needy, always grabbing my hand. I, I didn't have any time for Python code. He just took a nap, and then I got to go teach after school in one of these schools. I teach robotics, so I don't have much time. So I'm going to do something pretty easy here. Um, I want to start a new program. Where's that going to be? So programs, Sphero. Okay, there's a plus sign. Probably that's it. Um, choose program type. I'll do blocks for the Sphero rover. Create it. And I have no, no idea how long this is going to take. Shouldn't take too long. Oh, I'm going to scooch over this way. All right, so we've got on start. And I'm just going to, something that's going to be interesting for you to see is probably just have it roll somewhere. So we've got heading, spin such and such degrees for so many seconds. I'm interested to see how that one works because is it calculating what angular velocity to use? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, sorry. I'm getting you some glare there. All right, so I'm going to get the robot more in the middle and go ahead and start this and see what it does. Oh, it's at zero, zero. So I have zero degrees for zero seconds. Um, so it's got a position here. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm going to hit stop. Let's change this to 360. And instead of zero seconds, I'll say two seconds. Let's start that. That was approximately two seconds. All right, and so now what I'm going to do is stop that and say for four seconds and see if, not 24 seconds, four seconds. Let's, uh, there we go. And now we'll count this out. Sorry if there's glare. And I'm going to do for four seconds. So we'll start this and then we'll try to count, see if it does four seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. So I'd say that, yeah, so what this is doing is it is calculating its own angular velocity to achieve the angle you want in that amount of seconds. So ideally, this would have been spin such and such degrees in that many seconds. But oh well, so that's the one that I did. It was right in the movement commands. Um, so yeah, and then at the end, I'll have a back LED. What about all LEDs? main LED, left, no, 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 um, how do I trash that, down at the bottom, I want to do all LEDs, back, back, front, night, left, what, is there seriously no way to do all LEDs, there should just be an all LED command, I'll do main, that's probably the one inside, but I really don't know, and I'll change it to green, like as bright of a green as I can get, because what I want to know is, does it finish the drive command before it moves on to the next one? And I hope you guys can see this. I know that I had to open the windows to get enough light to get a good frame rate in the low ISO. So I'm going to start this. 
it looks like it's going to turn the light on at the end. It turned it on slightly before, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, so it turns on the LED. It might be doing some of that asynchronously. It might turn on the light at the end of four seconds. But the encoders are like, okay, we're a little too slow. we got to rotate a little more. Um, so yeah, it's interesting that the light's turned on. I'll do it one more time. But I swear those lights turned on just before. Yeah, the lights definitely turned on before it stopped. So anyway, this is Keith from Kinvert. I showed you briefly how to connect to the Sphero Rover with your EDU app. This happens to be in Android. Um, sorry, the video is very quick and uh, not very well set up. My, my son's taking his nap, so this is my little bit of time before i got to pack the car full of robots and go teach at a school. That's a third to fifth grade class, by the way. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's about it. Um, we'll probably end up putting this might be part of our online course. We're building an online course for programming Sphero Rover. We're probably going to end up with a course using blocks and Python. Our primary focus is Python. That's what I personally enjoy better. Um, but yeah, hope you found this helpful, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.